So you bought a new laptop or a desktop and you've been told that you have an M.2 drive. Yes, you do. But is it really a good M.2 drive? For example, this is one that came from my gaming laptop. And look what it says here. It's Serial ATA. So this M.2 is actually running over Serial ATA connection. Hello friends, my name is Irvin, also known as Kobolman. Here's the situation. A couple of years ago, I bought a gaming laptop. I thought that gaming laptop had an M.2 drive. As you can see on this box here, it actually does say PCIe super fast, blah, 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 blah. Well, now, since two years has gone by, now I needed to add more storage. So I decided to take it out and see what's going on. And then I realized that the drive that was inside wasn't actually a standard M.2 drive. It's actually SATA drive. And I couldn't believe it because the drive itself looks just like an M.2 drive. In this video, I'm going to show you how it looks like uh, in BIOS and how the benchmarks are showing up as well. So that way you can tell the difference yourself and also the physical difference of the drive. So let's have a look. I'm kind of disappointed that this laptop was supposed to be gaming didn't actually come with an actual PCIe uh, drive, but I digress. We're going to install a new one and we're going to compare the benchmarks as well. Let's have a look. By the way, if you got one second to click the like button, it really makes a big difference for me. I really appreciate it. It only takes one second. Thank you guys so much. So you bought a new laptop or a desktop and you've been told that you have an M.2 drive. Yes, you do. But is it really a good M.2 drive? For example, this is one that came from my gaming laptop. And look what it says here. It's Serial ATA. So this M.2 is actually running over serial ATA connection. The way you can tell also is by having two notches on this M.2 slot, M.2 drive. The regular M.2 drive that runs over PCIe only has one notch and it's a whole lot faster. I guarantee you that. I will show you benchmarks from the beginning on my laptop using this one and then I will show you benchmarks on the new one that I installed, which is going to be a massive upgrade. Unbelievable. Make sure you do have the proper PCIe M.2 drive. Otherwise, you're just running over SATA. It's no different from just a regular solid state drive. It's no different from regular solid state drive. Trust me on this. So in BIOS, this is how it looks like now. It shows as serial ATA for the one over there. You see that? That's the one that's currently inside of it and it's under serial. You'll see whenever I install the new one, it's gonna show it underneath here. I guarantee it. Just stick around and you'll see. Okay, so here's a test before installing the new updated M.2 drive. You can tell that I am plugged in with power here and you can see that as well by the little plug-in icon there on the battery. And you can see here that I have set it to performance mode on my laptop just to make sure that everything is done correctly. 8 gigabyte file size, 5 tests, and you can see there's 50%, uh, roughly 50% of the hard drive used right now that is currently installed on this computer. So we're going to run all of these. I'm going to run it like this. I may speed it up a little bit uh, just because it can take a while to do these tests. But I wanted to, I really wanted to make sure that you guys can see the uh, performance monitor here that the usage is only 16%. The memory is 16 gigabytes. There's only 3.3 used uh, used by right now from the system. And you can see the disk usage is 100%, which makes sense. We're testing the disk usage and there's nothing else. There's no other activity going on. So all the CPU usage is right now used by the uh, crystal disk for purpose of testing. I mean, pretty much right away, you can see why you would might want to upgrade to something faster. Yeah, these are really good speeds, but these are the type of speeds you will get from just a regular SATA, uh, which runs, uh, SATA 3 runs at 600 megabytes per second. You can get cheaper ones. There are M.2s, just like this one, they're gonna be slow. So this is an entry level, low end M.2 that's inside of this laptop. The one we're going to install is high end and it's going to be, you know, five to six, maybe even seven times faster than this. So this is going, this is a cheap one in here and we're going to be installing this one, which is uh, 2280 in length. So make sure that you do get the right length as well. 
and it's going to go in like this you can see they are exactly the same size and this is just real quick it's 970 EVO plus pretty much the best you can get right now link in the description if you're interested it's around 100 bucks price varies but it's about right if you do use the link I really appreciate it because I do get uh, commission on that so thank you so much alright so it's very simple here we're just going to unscrew it here and what's going to happen is this is going to go up by itself it's going to come up because there's a lever on it a little bit tight but I'm going to try to put my keep my hands away so you guys can see it happen so once this screw comes up it will just probably kind of pop up because it's on an angle huh? maybe the make sure you don't lose this screw because we're going to reuse it so if I touch it here it's probably going to pop up Ah, oh, it looks like there's it's stuck. Okay, so there's adhesive underneath this one here. I don't know if you can see it. Uh, let me see. I'm gonna get some pointing. This one is actually stuck to the motherboard. Uh, right there, right underneath. You see that? This one is actually glued on there. That's okay. I'm just gonna lift it like this because I know it actually goes this way. So just take your time, never yank on anything. It's, it's gonna come loose. I know it, it's inserted like, you see how it pops up like that? There you go. So now, if you pay attention here, this is how it's inserted. I'm just gonna pull it out like that. You see how there's an angle there? And we're just gonna put it in like this. Make sure the notch is matching right there. And we're gonna put it in like this. Push it in until the copper connectors are gone and I'm just gonna lower it here real quick I'm gonna use that padding there actually that sticky pad to my advantage here usually you would have to keep it down while you screw it on am I getting this right here we go yep I had to adjust it because I can't I wasn't sure if I actually had it in in focus alright so it's there and then we're just gonna use this in reverse we're going to install it so gently I'm going to screw this back on and in case I haven't mentioned it you can't boot to OS unless your computer supports it. So if you have a question and wondering if you can boot to OS, yes this one can boot to OS obviously I don't have any other drives installed uh, but if you're installing like an adapter or something in your computer your computer may not boot, support booting to OS usually like older computers do not so you know just keep that in mind if you have an old computer chances are it's not going to boot um, if you add an adapter with the M.2 uh, drive capability. Alright, let's have a look to see what's going on inside of BIOS. These are the current, this is what BIOS sees right now. And imagine, uh, imagine, <laughs> yes I imagine. Remember how I told you that this one is actually serial ATA and it does say there it's serial ATA. This one it actually comes up as PCIe SSD. 500 gigabytes Samsung SSD um, 970 Evo 500 gigabytes so this is what shows up now that's weird that we've upgraded from the serial one to PCI one we're gonna install operating system on this and then we're going to see the benchmark alright first thing first I wanted to show you something important you want to make sure that your BIOS is set to UEFI so these type of drives support that. If you're set to legacy, it's not going to work. Legacy is basically means like old school type of hard drives. You know what I mean? Or old, I should say old school type of booting. Uh, essentially SATA. So you want to make sure that a UFI uh, is enabled. So now I should be able to install fresh Windows 10 on it. Give it a sec. Give it a sec here, guys. Give it a sec. 
It's almost there. It's almost there. All right. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. I sound like a... Uh... <laughs> Here we go. I was going to say I sound like uh, Elvis, but I probably don't. Elvis Presley. There it is. Cortana. I'm Cortana. No, Cortana. No, come on, Cortana. How do I get an exit out of this? Use your voice or the keyboard along the way. Come and on, if you'd Cortana. Like me to stay quiet, just select the little microphone icon towards the bottom of your screen. Yes. I hate you, Cortana. This is so stupid. Oh, look, of course it's gonna. No. Mm. The climb. Um, oh my, look at all this crap. Now look at all this crap. I wasn't gonna talk smack about them, but look at all this crap. All of that stuff is, is spying on you and trying to advertise to you and trying to sell you their service. I understand you gotta have a business, but man, this is too much. Ridiculous. Ridiculous. My God. It really ruined my day, this, this, this crap. Hopefully the benchmark of this and I'm, I guarantee you, I will disable all of that stuff. I just don't have time to show you guys this right now. But I'll disable all of those services. All right. This is insanely ridiculous. All right, I'm going to do... Okay, airplane mode is on. 1% CPU usage. That's good enough. All right, the moment of truth, guys. I'm going to we're we're going to test this bad boy now. Remember, we had like 540 here, and it was around 500 there. Oh my God, did you see that? Oh my God, look how fast that is. That is sick. How many times is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven times. Seven times faster almost seven times faster than the other one. Seven times faster than, where is this? Seven times faster than that. That's the read speed. Write speed should be pretty impressive. Should be pretty impressive. As soon as we get to it. I'm gonna leave it like this. And we can watch the, the, the happenings. I can't believe how much time I wasted installing and configuring Microsoft that forces you to install your own, that, they, that forces you to use their own online account. From a business standpoint, I get it. But from like functional standpoint, it's ridiculous. I don't want everything to be on the cloud. I want things to be locally, installed locally. Man, look at those speeds, man. Look at that. That is pretty crazy, man. Pretty crazy. Pretty crazy. By the way, you don't necessarily have to buy a Samsung. You know, this is, this is the rated speed for this Samsung that we installed, the 970 EVO Plus. You can buy other brands too. You can buy like a mid-range one if you want to, if you can't afford a Samsung one, you know. But either way this is going over PCIe it's going it's a huge huge difference over than the SATA and uh, it, it goes to show how you can buy a computer that states that it has M.2 on it and this and that but we this is proof right here that it's not I mean how much evidence do you want I've given you all the evidence you, you have that, that you can you can get about this why they even made this over SATA? I don't even know. I don't even know. Why? This is ridiculous. Look at the write speed. Oh my god. Seven times. Seven times faster. Seven times. That's crazy, man. Almost seven times. But, I mean, look at it. Difference between 400... 50, 60, whatever it was, write speed, to 3,247. Man, what an upgrade. What an upgrade. I'm just going to wait for it to show up this second number and maybe even a third one. But that, 
that pretty much completes it guys if you have a second please please click the like button and please use the links in the description I really appreciate it it does give me a commission and that's the best way to show your appreciation to me honestly just click on the link what do you got to lose all it does is just gives me like a percentage of the sale it's not like a markup for you all it does is just you click second one second and you, you lose nothing but you do me a favor you, you, throw a couple, you throw a couple of bucks to me it's like the same thing as when people use those super chats whenever somebody's live streaming except you don't pay nothing you don't pay nothing extra it's just that the, in this case Amazon is gonna throw a couple of dial, dollars my way for a referral that's all there is and you're doing me a huge favor man thanks so much and there we go those are the numbers I hope you have a wonderful day this is very educational not just for me hopefully for you as well if you have any questions feel free to ask I'll be glad I'll be glad to answer them alright guys take care bye bye